Video tutorials by Andrew Buckle. In this tutorial, I'm just going to show you what uh, ostensibly is a Photoshop brush. It's part of a brushes set that's available for free on the Graphic Extras website. Of course, you could use any other brush design and turn it into a vector. And now, I'm mean, going to use the image trace and I'm just going to quickly go to File and Place. Now, that's the actual vector. I'm just going to quickly show you the brushes. So, this brushes, if I just make it. Uh, yeah, so I could actually show the images. There's the actual one that I'm going to bring in. So I'll just say place, bring it in, and it's like a, just a standard image. Now I could obviously just use image trace at this point. Just click there, image trace. It does take quite a bit of time to process it, and it, in this one it's uh, defaulting into black and white. Now what I want is to actually. I'm just going to get rid of that. What I'm going to use is the grayscale option. Anyway, done it already. And now if I just bring that over so it doesn't actually have to process it, you can see the mode, grayscale. So you actually can see the actual design basically as it is a, a raster image. It's now a vector image. Now, what I want to do is expand. And it's still going to take a bit of time to process this. It expands it. But once it's expanded, then I can use the color guide. That's just going to quick that. Right. Now, ungroup. I just want to get rid of that uh, bounding box. Now, got the vector design here. Color guide is a really useful. Say you want to turn that into a more colorful design than, than that. Also, just actually before I do any further, you can actually, of course, use things like the Smart Remove Brush tool. If you've got a Stute Graphics plugin, really good tool. Vector Scribe, and you can then get rid of some of these uh, sort of points. Some of there's quite a few uh, additional points that perhaps are not really necessary. Now, what you can do, just go to color guide and then just color that just quickly. Just and you can go obviously just go there, randomly change color order. So you can just click through there. Once you decide you like that flower design, of course you can just now select the whole set of the flower and then just drag it over there. And I'm just gonna hold the alt down, and most times when you hold the alt down it will actually generate a duplicated path, and this time it does. Sometimes it doesn't for some weird reason. I do not know why. Maybe it's just my keyboard, but uh, certainly sometimes it should, if you hold it down, hold the alt, should generate a new path. And of course, you can then go to here, color guide, and bang, just quickly run through a number of colors, or you can just change the harmony rules and go for a slightly different one. Maybe not green, maybe that's not a good idea. But you can just rain, go through there and click through all those color options. Click OK. Now another option, of course, is you could actually save it as a symbol. You just go over to the window and symbols. And what you want to do then, you can just quickly go and drag it over the symbols. Just put it over there. Say OK. Get rid of that. And I'm just going to get rid of that as well. And then use something like the symbol sprayer, which is just going to go over there. Right, select it, just select it over there, and then just basically apply and create zillions of flowers in seconds. All from a Photoshop brush. You can just create a whole flower garden, which of course you can resize and recolor using this various options here, stain at all, spinner, rotate them. Obviously not gonna be much use, but as well as resize. Hope you found this of interest.